नमस्ते डियर लर्नर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू ऐड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्यूजेस इन टू अवर जिनोमियो मॉडल कोर्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू ऐड क्वीज एक्टिविटी इन टू जिनोमियो कोर्स यू विल बी एबल टू ऐड मल्टीपल चॉइस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ट्रू एंड फॉल्स शॉर्ट आंसर एंड मैचिंग टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन टू द क्वीज एक्टिविटी क्वीज द क्वीज एक्टिविटी हेल्प्स अ टीचर टू क्रिएट अ डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इट इंक्लूड्स अ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन मैच द फॉलोइंग और मैच द पेयर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन ट्रू एंड फॉल्स क्वेश्चन मिसिंग वर्ड्स क्वेश्चन ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप इन टू द टेक्स्ट और ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप इन टू द इमेज सच अ टाइप ऑफ क्वीज यू कैन एबल टू ऐड इन टू द जिनोमियो मॉडल कोर्स द क्वीज इज टू बी अटेम्प्टेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स इट डिपेंड्स ऑन टीचर हाउ मेनी अटेम्प्ट आर अलाउड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस ऑप्शन यू कैन एबल टू शफल द क्वेश्चन और रैंडमली सिलेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अ क्वेश्चन बैंक फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स दिस ऑप्शन is available under genomeo model course apart from that you may be set a time limit so within a particular time student has to solve the particular quizzes the the model itself gives the grades automatically and it will be recorded in a grade book directly so teacher can choose when the hint should be given or feedback should be given or correct answer are shown to the students so there are settings are available within the genomeo model in which you can able to show the feedback correct answers and grade to the students it depends upon the teachers when it should be visible to the students this quiz activity may be used as a course exam as a mini test for reading assignments or at the end of any topic it may be used as a practice exam using questions from the past exams it will helpful to deliver a immediate feedback about the performance of students and it is useful for a self assessment also so let's discuss how to add different types of quizzes into genomeo courses so just open the course which we have created earlier you know very well how to show this add an activity or resource tab if it is not visible to you just go to the system gear box available in front of course name click on that box and you will get a turn editing on option so just click on that turn editing on options you will be able to see this edit and add an activity or resource tab so just click on that add an activity and resource tab you will be here then select quiz and then click on add then just give the name to the quiz and if you want to add add a descriptions and scroll down you have to set these settings that is timing grade layout question behavior review options appearance and extra restrictions on attempts timing you may set when the quiz will be open and when it will be closed grade you may set a number of attempts so here there are numbers are given you may set as per your requirement so i will select one and next option is layout so in layout you will be able to see every questions on one page or two questions per page or three questions per page so as per your requirement you may select a layout of your quiz next is important is a review options in quiz you have to do a setting in a such a way that the students will get immediately feedback or you may be turn it on later also so students will get whether the his answer or her answer is correct how many marks he or she get with a specific or general feedback 
along with the right answer. So teacher has to set when it should be displayed to the students. If it is checked, it means it will be displayed immediately. So you may set as per your requirement and then go for next that is to set uh, access restrictions. So just click on add restrictions, click on activity completions and set activity that is video on creation of on Moodle. It means that students has to first go through the educational resource and then attempt the questions. Then set the activity completion criteria and then lastly click on save and return to course. So now quiz activity has been added. So just click on it. We have added a quiz activity but yet we have not added any type of questions. So you may add a questions by using two options. One option is available at the center of screen that is edit quiz or sometimes you may be add a edit quiz from a system gear available at right hand side. So just click on it you will find a edit quiz tab under it. So just click on edit quiz. You will be here. So you can able to shuffle the questions and you can able to add the questions. So in order to add the questions just click on that add button. You will get this pop up window then select a new question. So you will be here then you have to choose a question type. So first I will select a MCQ type and then click on add. Provide a question name and question text. Once you done it just scroll down and here you have to set the whether your MCQ has a one answer or multiple answers. If it is one answer select one answer only then scroll down and give the choice of answers. You have to give choice and their feedback. If it is correct, why it is correct, you have to write down in feedback. If it is incorrect, why it is incorrect, you have to give the feedback. Once you have done with all these things, then select a grade options for a choice which is a correct. So just click on it. You will get a grade. If only one option is correct, choose 100% and then scroll down and click on save changes and continue editing. This is very important. You have to save changes and continue editing. Why? Once you click here, you will get a preview options. Then click on preview. Take a preview of your questions. If anything is wrong, so continue on editing it. So just select any options. So I have selected B options and click on submit and finish. So it is a wrong. It will show the wrong. Why? because according to the Lewis acid base concept. So why it is wrong? The feedback is immediately given along with the correct answer in red circle. So students will be get why the answer is wrong and which one is the correct answer. So come back. So you will added one questions then click on add again choose MCQ type of questions add write down the question name and question text scroll down and here now you have to change the setting because I want to add uh, MCQ type of questions has multiple answers. So just select multiple answers allowed. Then once done these settings scroll down and provide the choice 1, 2, 3, 4 along with the feedback. So all the choice has entered. Now select the choice which one is correct. Now depending on the number of choice are correct you have to give the grade. For example for these questions I have a three choice which has a correct one. So if the three choices are correct one so for each choice I have set a 33.33 percent .33 grade. So for every correct options means for three options I have selected 33.33 percent. .33%. Once I have completed the settings, scroll down and click on save changes and continue editing and after that click on preview button. So I will able to preview my questions. I will select a choice 
and click on submit and finish tab it will show how many options are correct how many options are incorrect along with the right answer so my answer is partially correct so in that already explanation is displayed to the students so go back to your question set then again click on add tab now you have to select a true and false type of questions select it and then click on add button then write down the question name and question text scroll down if your statement is true select here true if your statement is false then select a false along with you can give a general feedback as well as feedback for the response true and false so my answer is true so i have selected a true correct answers then scroll down and click on save changes and continue editing after that click on preview so this is the preview of true and false type of questions next you can follow the same process firstly click, click on to the add button available in the quiz then choose a question type then i will select short answer then click on add then provide a question name and question text and then scroll down in short answer type of questions you have to set the case sensitivity settings if you want to be a case sensitive one then you can select yes case must be match if you don't want then select that as a no it will be helpful for the uh, answers of biological source so once you have done it write down the correct answer in answer 1 and select the grades if only one answer is there select grade as 100% and then give the feedback why this answer is correct and scroll down and repeat the same process that is click on save and changes and continue editing tab and then click on preview button once you preview it it will provide a online text box in which student has to type their answer and then click on submit buttons likewise we have to add a next question type that is matching the pairs so just click on add button select a matching type of questions then again click on add then provide a question name and question text so match the following is the question text scroll down give the question 1 question 2 means choice along with their answers so once you have done it you may be set it for 6 9 or any number you can set for the match the pairs so write down the pairs questions in question box and their answers in answer box after filling all these things scroll down and then repeat the same process save changes and preview it you will be able to preview your the match the following type of questions so far we have seen how to add a different types of questions into quiz activity first you have to add a quiz activity from add an activity and resource tab once you have added the quiz activity then into quiz you may be add a multiple choice questions either single answer or multiple answers true and false matching type of questions and short answers in next session we will discuss how to add other types of quiz into genomeo course thank you very much